Hey everyone, Dirk here from Dirk's Dystopia. Next project, next part of the Zone Mortalis tables, I wanted to, to um, do object source lighting, OSL, on the uh, lumen spots on the whole tile. So if you can see, I've gone ahead and done this one where you can, it looks like there's light coming from that source. Uh, what I'm gonna do here, if I can get it lined up again, is show you how I did that on here. So I've got two, two spots here, one light here, one light here. Um, I did use the airbrush for two of the three stages of this. It is a three stage process. Um, I just have, this is a 0.2 millimeter tip brush, very small. Uh, you don't need much for this. Um, probably can get away with a, a bigger one if you uh, have a steady hand. I do not, so I'm using the smallest one I have. And then this is actually just Uriel Yellow. I have put into this bottle and thinned down with a little bit of water and a little bit of air brush flow improver. Um, to, it's kind of the consistency of milk. Just putting a few drops in the cup. You don't need much. You don't go through uh, a ton in this project. And then I'm going to, off to the side here, I'm just going to spray a little bit to make sure that the paint is coming. I'm going to turn on the airbrush because that'll help a bunch. All right, I might get noisy. I'll try and talk a little bit louder. So right next to here, I'm gonna spray a little bit. Yellow is coming out. So this takes a little bit of accuracy. And my goal here is to start just outside the, the actual light source. Uh, and I wanna push down to get air, but then only pull back a little bit. You don't wanna pull all the way back on the trigger and dump all of the paint out there. You want just a little bit, because what we're looking for is a bit of a ghosting of the outer ring of the light. And then as we get closer to the light source itself, it'll be a little more focused, a little more concentrated. So you'll see I kind of go in um, circles and I'm pulling back. And you can see the yellow just starting to appear. I'm gonna kind of swirl it around, kind of make it as big as I want. And then as I get in towards that center, I'll pull the trigger back a little bit more. So you can see it's very faint out here, but down here in the center, it's much more focused. I'll do the same thing over here. Hopefully the airbrush isn't too much in the way. There you go. So again, faint towards the outside. As you get in towards the center, we're going to make it a little more concentrated to pull back on the trigger just a little bit more. It took me a couple tries to get this down. What I did um, was I started on these end caps here because for much of the time they will be covered up, they get butted up against other boards. So if it's, it's a little messed up, it's not gonna be that big a deal. Um, but yeah, I started there just to get a little practice. Otherwise you could start on another piece of terrain or just even a, a napkin or something to get the idea. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish these up and then I'm gonna come back in for the second step. All right, we're back. And uh, we're gonna go for the second stage of our OSL, object source lighting on the lights here in uh, the Zone Mortalis tiles. So if you remember the first one we did a, uh, we started faint on the outside and then we concentrated it more and more until it was pretty solid in the center here. So it's faint out here in the edges where the light would be slowly dissipating and it's gonna be real dark here in the center, real concentrated. Dark is probably not the right word. So we did that with Uriel Yellow. Um, Next up, we're going to use uh, Flash Gets Yellow. This is uh, the Games Workshop Air version of the paint. I'm going to use that. It's already uh, thinned for what I'm looking for in here. I've done that in the bottle already. Um, but again, you're really just looking for that um, skim milk um, consistency. Uh, and this one's going to be a little more delicate. So I'm going to go ahead and put a couple drops of paint in my airbrush over here off camera and turn my compressor on and hopefully still be able to talk loud enough for you to hear me. All right. You don't need much paint for this, so don't overdo it in your airbrush cup. So you're really not going to use much. All right, here comes the air compressor. Good. So I've got my airbrush, same one I used last time, my smallest tip, 0.2 millimeter, I believe. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is try to do this left-handed, so this should be fun. I'm not ambidextrous, but 
what I want is I want a direct shot straight in. And I apologize, maybe I'll try it right-handed. It'll keep most of my hand out of the way, but the airbrush is gonna be in the way for what I'm looking for here because I don't want a directional. I want it directly onto the light here, straight out, straight in. So I'm lining up like so. Actually, I'm gonna off camera over here. I'm just gonna make sure paint comes out. I have a flow. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and line it up, push in, so air coming out and then pull back and then what I'm hoping to do is do a real bright concentrated at the center there um, it's not a, a big difference uh, but it is a difference for sure over the course of this so there you go it's just that little bit of brighter yellow in the center um, not a big difference like I said but it, it will uh, add up so I'm gonna go ahead and finish these tiles and then we'll come back and do the very last stage, which will be with a dry brush. All right, welcome back. The final stage of our object source lighting on, our, on the Zone Mortalis tiles. Um, this one I'm actually not gonna use an airbrush, uh, partially because I'm not sure, I, I don't really trust my skill to uh, be this fine uh, and my airbrush isn't all that great. Um, so this is actually just gonna be a dry brush shade. I just have a small dry brush here and um, I'm using white scar any kind of just uh, real bright white is going to work just fine um, standard dry brushing here though uh, I'm just going to get a little paint on the brush paper towel off to the side here I'm wiping most of it off and then all I want to do is just lightly flick across you just want this raise the kind of the grating over the light to, to catch the white so I'm just running it across getting some of the white on there and then that's all we're looking for. That is it. So just kind of that little final stage of brightness in the light. See if I can do this on the other one without being too much in the way. There we go. A little bit of white on there. I'm actually gonna come back and put just a little bit more white. Kind of want all the raised parts to be white. Um, not anything beyond that though. Just that very center of the light needs to be concentrated white. And that's it, that's the extent of my OSL. I know there's a possibility of many more layers to build it up, but uh, I have to do probably over 100 of these on the tile, so I, I went for a real simple scheme to try and uh, to make it work on my first try through with OS OSL. So that's that, we're gonna come back. Uh, the last couple will be just some details uh, that I've decided to pick out on these tiles. So that's the end of it, thanks.